This album sucks. Now look, I am the Ranton Music Reviewer. Now, you may think that's a joke. I mean, my first one was clearly a joke. My second one wasn't, well, you, you probably didn't think that was a joke. You think it's a joke when I talk about Weezer and say that Pinkerton? It sucks. I mean, it makes sense with make believe or, or attitude. You don't expect me to say about that, but those. But this, you didn't expect me to say Pinkerton sucks. Well, it sucks. You see, I'm going to explain something. You see, there was a time when people agreed with my sentiment. That was a good time in life before the 2000s. Because in the, in the 90, late 90s, when this album was new, it's people thought it sucked. And I think they were correct. They gave us perfectly legit reasons. It's, I mean, probably not the whole, right, they changed their sound thing. I actually think if they changed their sound to a more grungy-esque style, well, that's not what people wanted. They could have done it well if they made good songs. You see, they didn't make good songs, but at least if they tried to do that, maybe it could be good. It just gave it its infamy that lasted until, eventually, people realized its quality? You know, people thought it was... Good. People thought it was really good in the t later, like in nowadays, it's considered a masterpiece. But back then, when people were just angry at it, or just hated it, with all their heart and passion, I mean, if you don't believe me, I gotta explain it. You see, you know what, Rolling, what happened when it was voted on Rolling Stone as the, with the worst album of 1996? Pinkerton was the second worst one. It was just behind... Bush. And Bush sucks. So, clearly they only lost to a bad band. That's not even like a win. It's not a good win. So, yeah. I don't think it deserved it. There were worse albums that year, but, you know, if it were just talking about rock albums, this definitely deserves to be it. See, the 96 was a good year. You had albums like uh, Evil Empire by Rage Against the Machine or Down on the Upside by Soundgarden. And even if you look out that, you had albums like, um, uh, you know, Uncha American 2, Unchained by Johnny Cash. That was a really good year for music. But Weezer's Pinkerton is definitely one of the worst of that year. I'll just, and you want to know why? Where do I begin? I know where I'm going to begin, actually. Okay, let's talk about the cover first. Oh, I didn't talk about that before, because those were j joke reviews, but... Uh, this... This... Is actually a beautiful cover. It's one of the best elements of the album. It's art. I mean, that's a beautiful image, and... Even the logo doesn't ruin it. It still looks amazing. Uh, the back is... It's okay. I like how they wrote all the song titles, but... That image... It's kind of creepy. Shut up, vacuum! So anyways, if you're going to not get a migraine, you can look at this here. This is a map. So why is there even a map? Then you have this here, the shell's images. And those would look like something you'd probably see in the, like, something you'd see in, like, a, the liner notes for, you know, um, something like a wheat, blue, the blue album. But... This is the Pinkerton. They are already popular, and yet the production doesn't sound. Looks like it probably looks like that. I'll show you what I mean. And also, this is not fitting in. Like it doesn't fit in well. The main issue was is this. I didn't even try to make it look like this. This is literally what it looks like if you you take it out enough times. It's pretty much just encouraging you don't play it many times. The label looks cool. I mean, if there's, I mean, clearly it's if they just made it look awful, the disc looked awful, and the album was bad. And if I didn't, and if I realized the album was bad much earlier before now, then I would have not played it as much and wouldn't made it subject to this. Well, let me just put that over there. It's got to be safer. So yeah, the disc is just a generic DGC label, you know, like this. I've seen this before on Nirvana, but those were good albums. All of them were good albums, except for, like, the stuff. But, you know, even, um, uh, you know, stuff like From the Money Banks to the Wish Call was a better album. And it came out the same year as this one. Well, let's review it. The first song is called, I can't say it. It, 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 just, 
there, there you go. So, yeah. The, um, the song is, well, it's meh. The guitar feedback is, you know, I like what guitar feedback often sounds like, but here it just sounds like, it just sounds like, like something you'd hear in purgatory. I mean, I guess that's what most guitar feedback sound like, but here it sounds awful. So yeah, it sounds like that, and then the song actually starts. I don't, I do I mean, I don't really care for it. I honestly think it's just a mediocre song. It's definitely one of my least favorites on the album. That's definitely, it's definitely one of my better ones on the album, actually. Or the least, I don't know. The song is so middle of the road, I can't tell if I like it. If I sort of think it's the better ones or the worst. Like, truth be told, it's so middle of the road. We're gonna move on. Get you. <laughs> Get you. Uh -huh. Get you. Uh -huh. Get you is t terrible. I, I don't like Get You at all. It's a bad song, in my opinion. Get you. Uh -huh. Get you. Uh -huh. It just doesn't even sound like it's, a, it's a, not even a good song. Like, wow. How could they make it? It's, a, it's like probably the fourth worst, at least, I'd say, because they're a worst. No other one. You know why? I don't. I think I know why it's called No Other One, other than something in the actual song. Because no other one wants to listen to it, or at least nobody wanted to listen to it then. Yeah, No Other One is just. I don't even like it that much. It's just. It's. It's. Filler. I don't. I don't like it. Okay. Why bother? Why bother with the album? Yeah, you know, why is it that two songs in a row have my exact feelings with it? It's honestly scaring me. Both the songs are just... They're fun, I guess. They're better than most of them, but... They aren't that happy, good, in my opinion. Now, we actually do follow this up with a not-that-bad song. It's called Across the Sea. It's a mellow, so kind of sad song about some Japanese fan who gives them a letter. And then he wishes he could travel... And then Rivers wishes he could travel on there, but he can't. But he can't. Because he lives in America. You know, actually, it's not that bad of a song. It's probably the best one on the album. Actually, there are better ones. It's one of the better ones, at least. Yeah, probably it's above those other ones. I don't know. Just, I really have blurry opinions. Because I haven't heard this album in a long time. I only remember some of the songs. Like, the next one. The Good Life. The Good Life is a, um, uh... It's a nice song. It's about... What happened? What happened to me? You know, it's one of those What happened to me songs. Like, I'm, uh, that one lyric from Down with the Sickness. I look at my reflection. It finally changes. Finally changes. You know, like that. It's one of those songs where it's like, What have I done? What has happened? It's actually not that bad of a song. It's truthfully one of the best on the album, I'd say. You know, I like it. Then we get the best song on the album, and probably the most popular. It's called El Scotcho. Or as we, or as us American, or as us Americans call it, The Scorcho. What's a Scorcho? If anyone can tell me, what is that, like a wrestler? It sounds more like a wrestler. The Scorcho! Breaking your skull with this move! It cracks your skull. It's actually a good song. Yeah, what the, uh, uh, the, all I'm saying is it makes no sense. You know all those songs where I can't even explain it because the lyrics are kind of really confusing. You know stuff like I'm um, a uh, something like Your Latest Trick by Dire Straits, which is the better song. But you know this is pretty good too. And, uh, the hook is actually pretty good, and, you know, some of the lyrics are good. I told you to, but, um, I told you to go to the Green Day concert. Why would you make, why would you bring up Green Day in your song? You know that Green Day were making better music than this album. Like, this, like, the year before this, Insomniac came out, which is an awesome album. So, why didn't that come out? Why didn't we, couldn't we 
listen to that. That's the better album. I'd rather listen to that than I'd listen to this again. And I don't have Insomniac. I have this. Yeah. Pink Triangle. Yeah, it's, um... It's one, it's, uh, one of those songs where if I talk about it for too... For, if I actually talk about what it's about, I'll probably get demonetized. You see, it's like... Uh, uh, oh, she's a... The, uh, I can't describe the rest of it. Yeah, it's meh. I mean, out of the song, the three, apparently, best song, it's definitely my least favorite. I mean, I just don't like it that much. It's just, it was, it's, it's fine, but I've heard much better, even on this album. Next, you get Fallen for you. Probably the best one before some stuff happened. You know, you know, it's the best one after that. Because, I mean, it's like, it's nice, you know, it's fine. I know, maybe I can listen to you again. But then you get the worst song on the album, Butterfly. Now look, Weezer, I know why they haven't done any acoustic songs recently. Now, okay, that's not to say they won't ever do it, just a plainly acoustic song. But all I'm saying is, if you compare that to other, all I'm saying is, if I was listening to... Something like, um, uh, even freewheeling Bob Dylan, I'd rather listen to that than I'd rather listen to Butterfly. Any song from any of the folk albums by Bob Dylan, or by far the best one, are much better than this. And it's just it's slow, it's somber, I don't even, I don't even care, it's just... Yes, it's a I mean, it sounds almost demo-ish. I mean, yeah, the whole... But yeah, that's the issue with the whole album I haven't brought up. The album is demo quality in production. Like, it sounds like the album wasn't even finished. Like, I know that's what they were going for, but let me tell you. The production on the album sucks a lot. So yeah, overall, I'd say that Pinkerton by Weezer... Is a is a is a really bad album. Now I know you guys might not believe me because I my other videos were jokes, but here this time, I really do believe that Pinkerton isn't a good album. So if you take my knowledge and you're planning on saving up to go to buy Pinkerton, just don't, just don't do it. That's what I think of it. I mean, I'd probably be. Just exactly what you should do, being completely honest.